entering the oyster mushroom growing room. The harvest is through for the day. And here's, here's some that will be ripe tomorrow. We call these fruiting bags. When we place these fruiting bags on, onto the shelves here, they're just a smooth bag like this. And after about one day, these small clusters of mushrooms begin to emerge. What they're growing on is a pasteurized matrix of straw and cottonseed hulls. The fungus then spreads from the grain through this matrix of straw and cottonseed hulls. It takes about two weeks to two and a half weeks for the fungus to totally colonize. But the most important thing is that it um, have a lot of fresh air brought in, which gets very expensive in the winter and the summer. I could demonstrate how the oyster mushrooms are picked. It's quite simple. We, we keep a tub here uh, close to the floor on a cart and just a quick snap like that and the mushroom is picked. It's actually ready for market right like that. We harvest every day, seven days a week. We've harvested every single day since July of 1985. For the last 20 years, have sold every single pound that we pick fresh. We never dry any out. We never throw any out. It all takes place in this room. We're going to make a mushroom terrine. We went and saw how the mushrooms were made, uh, oyster mushrooms. So our ingredients are button mushrooms, dried porcini mushrooms, butter, wild rice, onions, egg, dried cranberries, and herbs. First thing we're going to do is we have water that's boiling. You're going to take porcini, dried porcini mushrooms and put them in the hot water. You create a broth and you also rehydrate the porcini mushrooms. So we're gonna use the porcinis to enhance the button mushrooms. Buttons don't have that much flavor, but when you put porcini mushrooms with them, they kind of almost become like porcini mushroom. Then we're also gonna cook our wild rice in the porcini broth to give it that extra mushroomy flavor. of rice and add it to our porcini broth and then we're going to cook the wild rice for about 20-25 minutes until it's just cooked. The button mushrooms are going to get pureed and um, combined with the wild rice and an egg to form uh, to create a terrine. So we want some parts that aren't just pureed mixed in with it. So that's the role that these oyster mushrooms are going to play. Sauteed which we're going to add. We're going to add a few cranberries to add a little dried cranberries to add a little bit of sweetness to it. We're going to add some wild rice. Oil. And so press it into the pan. All right, we wait an hour. Wrap it in tin foil. Set it on top of your terrine with something to press it down. Weight it down. Stick that in the refrigerator um, and let it press overnight. the next day and we need to unmold our terrain. Eat it cold. This would be great with a salad, you know, a couple slices, um, mustard with anything. What I'm going to try to do is make is quickly make like a um, wild rice flour just by taking a little wild rice, putting it in a coffee grinder. There 
we have a seared mushroom terrine with preserves. Pickled green beans, pickled mushrooms, mustard, and cranberry jam. We'll try it. Yeah, it's really good.